G'day and welcome to Synth Spaces and this is a bit of a Christmas theme for this one. I have dragged out my Sega Saturn right here as you can see. Uh, still in its box, a little beaten up but it's still all there. And um, this is the first time I've fired it up in a good 15 years or so. They've been sitting in a garage all this time which is a bit of a shame but it's good to finally get them all out and firing up again. Now one of the things that made the Sega Saturn a little different to the other consoles at the time was that it had its own internal clock. And what's the big deal about that? Well what you're seeing here is one of the very first games that I saw that actually utilized that clock and so this was a free sample. Nights into Dreams was a very big Sega Saturn game, very celebrated. And at that time, Sega were giving out in 96 free samples of the game. Um, Christmas Nights Into Dreams. And the big deal about this game is that during the month of December and other specific dates, it will do um, sort of like uh, themed events for that time frame. So for example, you've got Christmas being December, hence the name Christmas Nights Into Dreams. But they also had uh, one for April Fools, uh, and Valentine's Day so it actually used the clock in a very clever way which was never done before and we've had games since then that have uh, copied that such as Animal Crossing being the most obvious example that I can think of and there's probably a, a stack of others out there too now um, this was a pretty big deal this game at the time for me I really liked the fact one that it was free and two just how much effort and I've, I've I saw it as love from Sega um, basically showing their fans that hey we appreciate your support have this on us so without me crapping on too much further about it this is the uh, game itself I'm gonna fire it up and uh, yeah first time in a long time too let's see what happens play through order let's play just a bit of a look really at there you are and, uh, yeah, 1996, oh my god, this is like, um, 20 years old now. Ancient history. That's me. Ancient history. Anyway, covered this in intro, decorations. my god, this is the only downside to this game is this intro. It is notoriously bad. And anyone that's got this will and tell you the same. are looking for presents for their loved ones. Bit of a Christmas story. I'll let it play through, but... Among them are Elliot and Clarice. Mm -hmm. They all look rushed. That gentleman, that lady, that old man. Why do they have to walk that fast? Why did they have to walk that fast? This is so blurred on my screen. In the crowd. <laughs> They feel something important is missing. The streets look so beautiful. This is the most cheerful time of the year. But it seems like nobody is paying any attention to something important. Wow. Walking down the street, they find themselves in the middle of Twin Seed City, facing the mammoth Twin Seeds Tower. It is decorated beautifully, and the tower appears as one huge Christmas tree. However, they realize what is missing from the Christmas spirit. The one thing nobody seems to notice. There is no shiny star atop the gigantic Christmas tree. Without it, the tree is incomplete. Hmm. Quick green lip. That's it, that's the intro. Yeah, I don't know. I was waiting for a punchline that never came. <laughs> And there it is, Christmas Nights Into Dreams, 1996, oh my goodness, it makes me feel very old. Now that time you can see up there, yes that's the actual time, I had to put that in though, 
Uh, when I set this up, the battery, which is a button battery that goes in the back of the Sega CD, uh, sorry, the Sega Saturn, um, the battery's been in there all that time. I really do hope it has not corroded. I have not looked at that yet. We'll see how that goes. So this is just a demo. Uh, I will hit play in a second, but I thought I'd just let this run through for a bit. Um, so, the Sega Saturn. Um, I got a fair bit out of the console. Especially Virtual Cop 1 and 2. That was a kick ass. And I don't actually have a CRT monitor or TV to play those on. And in case you're wondering what I'm talking about, CRTs, those old big fat TVs, the guns have to work on those old TVs. It will not work on the LCD screens that is used today, which is a real kick in the butt. Uh, the other thing that I was going to mention is that uh, Knights Into Dreams did get somewhat of a sequel on the Nintendo Wii. I do not have that game. I will one day get it. Um, but for now... Alright, let's get into this. Sega! I really do think they should have kept that Sega thing going, the intro. I think that's the coolest... Sega logo intro that they ever made was that one. It really made you feel like they've made something big and important. Anyway, let's get into this, shall we? So you get a choice. Uh, so you got options, which is going to be your plain boring options. Christmas Dream, the game itself, and um, Christmas presents. Think of these as achievements. You have to unlock them by doing certain things in the game. Christmas dreams. Uh, look at the dude. Look at those graphics. Look at that grainy, blocky graphics. So yeah, the big deal with this one is that he is actually wearing a Christmas suit as opposed to the original game. So you get robbed of your spirit or something. And I don't really know the plot. I'll be honest with you. You go in here, you become this nice dude. And I'm really bad at this. Now, what I want to know is, did anyone out there use the analog controller? Which was one of the very first analog controllers going around at the time. It did get beat by Sony. Very, very uh, line ball though, but Sony had the twin analog joystick for their simulator games and their Mac Warrior games. But this was one of the first games to utilize uh, an analog controller, which was just your handy controller size option like this. I'm not very good at this, as you can tell. Almost there. I'm gonna get a fail. That's the pass point. I would like to see them do a proper 3D version of this now. Actually, this would really trip you up playing this with virtual reality. Okay, I'll take a C. Better sit back a bit. It's actually hard to see the screen. I'm not used to playing this with such a big screen. Up close at least. Hey, 
as you can see, the graphics by today's standards was very blocky, but this was a pretty big deal when this game came out. The only thing that let it down was that low resolution. Come on, let's get this over and done with, please. I don't think this Christmas version is available on any other version of the game or console. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I do think that this is an exclusive for the Sega Saturn. Unless they did it as an exclusive, uh, well, sorry, as uh, maybe a perk you get for unlocking the game in, in the Wii version. Ah, oh, for sure, always for sure. You can do acrobatic. What am I doing? Yeah, you get points for doing acrobatic moves with the top shoulder buttons. Come on, get up. Oh, can I go? Yeah, I can. This was pretty cool stuff at the time. I keep forgetting, like, how things have advanced, and we look at this now as blocky, grainy graphics. The shoulder pads were something new for me too. I mean, we had it on the Super Nintendo, but the Super Nintendo, I think the games didn't really utilize the shoulder pads probably as well as it could have. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm again. I'm not an overly big fan of the Sega Saturn controller. I think that where they placed the shoulder buttons. Is a little bit dicky. Did the game the game just crashed on me? Oh no way. Oh no, I just pressed pause. How did, I didn't even pause that. That was odd. So so far I'm finding that the Sega Saturn is a little more reliable. Oh, hurry up. Um more reliable than the Mega CD. Oh what? I ran out of time. Oh no, what have I got to do? Collect the balls. I gotta escape the game out the timeout. Oh no! Stop at me! No, no, no! This is really hard. There's no. Oh crap. There's no way of controlling the camera button. Oh, yes, there is. Sorry, I do lie to the trigger buttons. Yeah! <laughs> Where am I supposed to go? I've really screwed this up. Oh, I did it. Okay. Oh my 
I'm missing everything. I oh, know I'm actually absolutely butchering this. I think I'm just more concerned about the time. Oh, four, come on. There you go. Considering I haven't played it with the new data, with the old data. All right, so first boss. I remember this dude. Suck him in the mouth. Ah, in the head on. You gotta go head on. I always lose time. It's only one level. <laughs> Alright, well, I might. Now, because I finished that, I get to open boxes. And I gotta. Oh, okay, so you gotta match them. You get four attempts, okay. Oh, that was over there, wasn't it? Yep. One last shot at it. Uh, maybe this one. Uh, okay. So I've got no more attempts left. You got to remember where they were, and you unlock presents. And the presents are things like uh, soundtracks and also exclusive art, which I've done before, but it was ages ago. So we go into the presents, and you can see there's a stack of presents to unlock. So our first one is the access to the Knights Museum, which is. A look at the artwork, which is pretty cool. This is high res for back then. I do like me some of this artwork. I might screenshot some of this later. Actually, I'm going to screenshot this and I'll put it up on my Twitter account. By the way, that's another plug. If you are on Twitter, follow me at... Since spaces and uh, I always put up stuff like this on there or anything that gets my attention I think we're going back around in circles. Yep. So yeah, I'll screenshot all of this and put them up on the uh, On the account right, so I pretty much have to end that uh, abruptly uh, That was recorded last night uh, What happened was that uh, my Sega Saturn being that it's so old is overheating and if I was to run this for an hour or more, if I turn it off and turn it back on again, the video signal gets a little bit, Ugh. so I've got to get that looked at. Some of the parts are 
pretty old in there. Um, capacitors are the first thing to go, I found out. The other thing is the, back, the battery backup cartridges that I've got. Um, the memory card plus, I've still got the original packaging for that. $74.95, thanks EB Games. Yeah, Still got all the instruction manuals for that one. So, um, that one's a dud. I've opened it up and I think I can fix it. I think. We'll see what happens there. So, <laughs> look, one of the uh, contacts is corroded and I might be able to paint uh, some conductive paint onto that and see if that can uh, save it. I did save a game once like that in the past. Um, but the good news is I've since gone and got myself a new battery for the battery backup. That's the first time in 15 years that's had a new battery put in it. Been a while. Um, it's now able to save games. But more importantly, the official back, uh, backup memory cartridge that I got. See, the Sega Saturn actually took both CDs and cartridges. And rather than having these little memory cards that the PlayStation 2's, uh, so, yeah, PlayStation 2 and the PlayStation 1's got, um, you had to buy these big bulky cartridges and put them in the back. This one's got much more memory in it, but it doesn't work. The official Sega one that I've got here, it works if you keep messing around with it, eventually it will work. The cartridge slot on these uh, systems is really dicky. <laughs> They're not really stable. So I'm going to do what I can do to get this uh, system saved. I'm even thinking of getting it sent away to get it fixed to brought back to life. Because I've got a stack of uh, Saturn games there that uh, are worth exploring. Even though uh, America and uh, well, Japan somewhat, they didn't really catch on to the Saturn. I like the system. I like the games that did come out for it. They concentrated more on the 2D aspects of the games. And I'm sorry, but the 3D games in that era didn't really hold up today. They don't, um, they don't hold their age too well. Whereas the 2D stuff that they were releasing back then, I think looks great. Um, let me know your thoughts below though. If you like the Sega Saturn, uh, if you bought one, if you uh, still drag it out every now and again and play it, or do you just go down the route of um, using an emulator? Because there are a way of emulating it on PC. Uh, in fact, one just came out recently, uh, which does the best job of emulating them, but it is a bit of a chore to get it set up. But once it's set up, apparently it looks really uh, smicko. Anyway, all right, well, that's um, been one look at uh, a, a game from um, the past there, Christmas Nights Into Dreams. Um, I, I managed to get at least some footage in the end. Until then, thanks guys.